What's up, everybody? Uh, Juice Beaters, everyone out there tuning in. Hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, been putting some videos together. Uh, been getting a lot of positive feedback. I'm glad to see those videos are helping some people out. Um, so we're gonna keep on going. Uh, try to make a few more, help some people out. So I'm do a couple quick tips and tricks today. Um, <clears throat> when you're assembling your GSP chassis, and some questions that I've, I've seen a lot on just assembling some of the GSP components together. So what we're working with here today, <clears throat> and this is, isn't is completely, um, yeah, this is just to get everything going. So today we're working with some V3 uh, carbon fiber rails, GSP V3 sliders. Um, this isn't the typical Vader skid or anything like that. This is a custom 3D printed skid for a project I'm working on. I got a case printed, so I'm making um, an LCG uh, transmission. So that's the next little project. We're gonna be working with the G-Speed lay down servo mount and a couple little uh, chassis spacers and the multi-point pan hard. So <clears throat> how you get from this to this? Hopefully I can help. Okay. So at this point, you know, you're getting the rails together, you got the sliders in, you'd probably already have your links, your lower links uh, installed there, starting to put everything together. So, you get to this point, you're ready for either rear space or say we're starting the front. We're gonna go with the servo mount. And um, whether this be the lay down servo mount or the team garage axe servo mount, you know, you get it right there and, oh no. You know, people like, oh, what, you know, I see a lot of, What's the problem? Did I get the wrong width skid? Did I get the wrong servo mount? Do I need to cut it? No, no, you don't need to. You got the right stuff. Let me show you something. Just pinch it. Um, this will pinch. It has plenty of strength, anything like that. Same thing there, you know, the rear. Um, so, you're ready to put the servo mount in. Um, so, thing I do with the servo mount here. Now, also real quick, Hopefully, when you're at this point, also, the rails, left hand, right hand, no slot, slot. This is the left hand side, driver side, this is where your pan hard mount goes. Unless you're servo on axle, obviously, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, so, where we're at right here, I get the servo mount ready. Um, so they lay down servo mount, obviously the servo mount goes towards the front if you're using the Team Garage Active dual servo mount. The TGH goes in the rear, goes towards the transmission. So what I like to do here, I get four bolts and I'm gonna get, get it started. Get all four just loosely started. Or sorry, I'm gonna get three of them loosely started. I did one corner and then an opposite corner, and then I'm gonna do the one more over here on the same little side. Now, you have three of them in. So you're ready for this last one here. This is when you'd go ahead, get your pan hard on. So, pan hard. The multi-point pan hard, three adjustables. They go down, we'll start there with that last spot. Oh no, I dropped it. We're gonna go in that last mounting hole that attaches servo, and then this front uh, mount of it will go through the slot into the last three drill spot. So then from here, I'm just gonna kind of pinch in a little bit and do you know a loose little torque sequence. You know, just to Keep everything uh, tightening down and squeezing together evenly. Now this pinch um, will be the same on G-Speed chassis, uh, regardless of material, uh, whether it be the uh, carbon steel, G10, or the carbon fiber, and also on the uh, V1, C1 chassis. So then, you know, front's pinched, go to the rear real quick, and we'll throw a spacer in here. And again, I'm gonna get one and two loosely started. And we're gonna pinch it in. And both sides. 
boom. There we have it. Pinched, everything's good. Um, real quick while we're right here, one thing to look at, um, I do have the G-Speed body post mounts. Um, quick question on the installs. So that's how it does accept most, uh, your standard body post mounts and you can secure the body post through a hole, through a bolt that goes in through either side, whether it be the front or back or the front of that mount. That way you can also adjust, you don't necessarily have to line up with the hole, you can adjust it as you need fit and tighten that screw down. The cool thing about the servo mount, or the, sorry, the body post mount, the, the way it's secured, very, very secure. Two holes and they line up perfectly with two along the shock towers and they can be mounted from on the inside of the rails or the outside. Definitely have a lot, a lot of room um, here on the rear. Now on the front, outside shouldn't have any problems. <clears throat> inside will depend on the servo mount choice and your servo side. So, um, sorry, I had to stop for a second there. Um, so yeah, just depends on your servo size. Uh, and then with the lay down mount, obviously um, you do have some more leeway there. But anyways, I hope that little uh, helps out a few people. And they said, you know, that uh, a lot of people are firm with the pinching, but here's a six by six chassis we just did. Now, if you just look at some of your stock chassis, you know, fly from there and then they go narrow. Now once all together, um, it's already pre-stamped and everything like that, pre-bent. You just don't really notice that, but you know, like right here, you are making the shape. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoy, hope it helps out some people. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below or um, any other videos, anything you'd like to see put together, let me know. I'm going to work on a few more. We're going to work on, I think, on shocks next time. Uh, meantime, um, like it. Um, if it helps you, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see some more videos, until next time, have a good one, everybody.